some of it's kind of more hip hop oriented. Like I've got nice. two different, like the halftime drum and bass is in halftime. It's, you know, yeah. it's, it's essentially kind of like hip hop because it's been like that 85 BPM range. And some of it can vary like vibe wise. There's drum and bass that's aggressive and hard and gnarly and there's beautiful and melodic, you know, it's just it's a weird genre how it just can be like yeah. all over the place. Well, that's why we, we like having you here, man, because you, you help us really explore that sound mm-hmm. on, on the show. You know, it's, I feel like sometimes it gets a bad rap. Um, you know, people are like, I don't like drum and bass. I'm like, let me, give me a minute. <laughs> like,
Halftime stuff really got popular, I'd say, I don't know, six, seven years ago, maybe. And uh, it really kind of brought some new energy into the genre. It was kind of stale for a while. Yeah, but you got to kind of be careful, though. Like, you kinda, sometimes in a club situation, you got to kind of, like, sprinkle it in because it gets kind of, like, slow. And mm. then, you know, it yeah. works really well to, like, break up your set to have, like, you know, an, an ebb yeah. and a flow to it where you can kind of bring it down. Almost then, like when somebody drops to a halftime hip-hop beat in the middle of a song or something yeah. like that, and it kind of changes, the, yeah. it gets the crowd's just attention. Just shakes them up a little bit, yeah, 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 just, like, gets you out of, like, just this, you know, same thing for an hour. And uh, yeah. I would love to play little, like, 15 or 20-minute, like, sections of it and then go back in, and, you know, I, I really like it.
know, I used to, like in the early 2000s, I would, um, at raves and nightclubs, I would follow house DJs a lot. And it's, it can be really intimidating when you're a drum and bass DJ because you can just like clear the room in an instant. Mm. You, you got a, a room of people just vibing their asses off the house and you got to like completely yeah. do a 180. And so in the early 2000s, um, like that liquid funk really blew up, like around 2003. And so I kind of pivoted away from playing like dark drum and bass to playing liquid funk. And a lot of my friends are like, dude, what are you playing? I'm just like, I love this stuff. Like, it's great. So it was really cool at that time to be able to follow up a house DJ and like have people come up to you and be like, I didn't think I liked drum and bass. This stuff is really cool. There's, there's probably not much of a better compliment for a DJ, right? Totally. So like, I didn't think I liked that music, but you showed me differently.
And I feel like some people like listen every other beat. You don't have to listen to every beat. Like, <laughs> listen to it like hip hop. It's right. just like hip hop. It's 85 beats per minute. You don't, you don't have, have to be on every beat. Just <laughs> every other beat. And they're like, yeah. You know, like, just, just come on. Like, it's, you know. And they're like, you know, because some people are like, oh, it's too fast. I can't listen to it. Just like every other beat. You know, I mean, some songs ex- accentuate every beat and some songs yeah, yeah. are more, you know, on every other beat. So it kind of depends on the track you're listening to. But, um, yeah, and it's just, uh, I, you know, I feel like some drum and bass gets a bad rap sometimes <laughs> because you know, there's, it's all over. The, there's so many different facets to it. And, yeah. you know, it, it can be anything. It's like just a weird vehicle for all different kinds of vibes. Backslapper. Yeah. <laughs> 